Then if I if I like them, if I if I I'm gonna be like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah
Oh wait, yeah. Uh, we have sorry, one. I'm sorry. This is <laughs> the old theme we from last year. Um yeah. Is she here? I'm here. You're here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, your name is in here. Yes. Have, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yes. You're good. <laughs> okay. Walker Bagley. I pull away 37 times. <laughs> Emma Harry. No. Michaela Copley. Yeah. I did research and network. Andrew Kim. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Lauren Kane. I took the South Shore lines. Harry Waterbury. Uh, I got one point. Anna Tulik. I spent a ton of time outside. Mark Metrius. No, he's not here today. Emily McDougall. Um, here I did camp and research in Houston. Hunter Brook. I saw some of the Olympics. Dawson Kaiser. I had an internship in Chicago. May. <laughs> I worked at Poverty Lab here on campus. I got into law school. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I spent a week in Maine celebrating my parents' birthdays. I'm in Bulgaria. With that, we're done. Awesome. Thank you guys for this roll call. So sorry to the off campus people. We will get it right next time. Um, all right. Now we just need a motion to approve the minutes. Yes. Motion to approve the minutes. Sorry. Second. All right. There is a motion to approve the minutes. All those in favor? All opposed? All abstain? The motion passes. Great. Executive announcements. You guys can see them on the agenda. We have Flick on the Field this Friday. It's an iconic Nerdium event. Be sure to especially tell your freshmen, senators, um, because it's just kind of a fun thing to do. I'm sure many of you guys went your first year at Nerdium. Food trucks are outside on Library Lawn from 7 to 9, courtesy of SAO. Thank you, Mel. Um, and then Rudy starts in the stadium at 9 p.m. Um, in, in the case of weather, we will have a rain location of Danky. Sorry, say that one more time. In the case of weather, we're having a rain location of Dinky. Lauren. In the case of weather, which hopefully will not happen. Um, that call will be being made late Friday afternoon. Yes, but you will hear about it. Make sure to follow at MDSugov on Instagram to get the latest updates. And the other thing I have on here is Father Bob's inauguration. That link takes yeah. you to his inauguration site, which has all the events. Um, so some of the main ones, uh, Wednesday, September 11th, is the Celebratory Camp Squad Inauguration Picnic. Um, and that is going to be pretty similar to uh, kind of what Jenkins Fest was. So you kind of know what to expect there. Um, the other big event on Thursday, uh, it's the first of the Nerd Aim Forum, which Father Bob's question this year is, what do we owe each other? So that's going to be great. You can see some of the speakers on the website. Um, then we have the inauguration map, which Overflow Seeing is going to be out on Bond Quad in a covered area um, and also live streamed. So uh, just because the Basilica does have limited seating, um, there will be a pre-inauguration student rally and walkover at 1 p.m. on Z-Bar Quad. Um, and yes, there's going to be local food trucks, DJ, etc. Again, all this information is in the website linked. Um, there's going to be the academic procession at 2.20 convocation and inauguration at 245, which um, students are invited to, so you're more than welcome to come. And then as I'm sure most of you have probably heard about the celebratory concert um, at 8 p.m. and then the student inaugural ball from 9.30 to 11. Um, the dress code for that is dress to impress, so it's supposed to be flexible wherever you guys want. Um, and then it is possible to go to the concert and then walk to the inaugural ball afterwards. It is built so that students are able to do that. I know we've gotten some questions. Oh, do I have to pick the concert or the ball? You can go to both. And in fact, we encourage you to go to both. The one note I will make, you may or may not have noticed that the Wednesday event, the campus-wide inauguration picnic, is right during Senate. Um, we do still have to have a Senate on that day. Um, but I'm going to put this out there two weeks in advance. We do would like to ask and would very, very highly appreciate so that everyone has the chance to eat that day. 
um, that the Senate possibly be capped. You can't put a time limit on how long Senate lasts. We will be heavy, heavily regulating what is on the agenda that day as well. We just want to make sure every student has the chance to enjoy the picnic and most importantly, eat, get their food. A time limit of a half hour is, you know, the suggested, but again, you are in the sense that you can make the decision on whether or not to do that, but just yeah. that's what is recommended. So yes, we will still be here at 5.30, on September 11th, you know, it is still Senate, but if a time limit was placed on Senate because of this inauguration picnic, that would be preferable. Yes. I agree. How do we place the time limit? Is it something we do like? Um, it's it's day. Day. Yeah, it's the day of. So this is just a super in advance reminder so that everyone knows and everyone in theory would still be able to eat and enjoy the picnic on the 11th. Yes. Are we able to move the time earlier? So Senate, not of the picnic. Right. Yeah. yeah. Just making sure. <laughs> um, so yes, technically. Um, I am just me personally, I'm a little concerned about quorum if we do that, just because I know everyone's schedules are so crazy and we know for a fact everyone has 5 30 p.m. blocked off, right? For Senate in theory. So um, but we figured putting a time limit on it would be more effective than trying to move Senate altogether, if that makes sense. Um, and we are just very conscious that students need to eat, and this is the eating option for that evening. Yeah. So this is the eating option for that it's evening. So the option. dining halls will be closed this day. That's why we're so concerned about. We just want to make sure people can eat, people have plenty of time to eat. To clarify, they're not closed this day. They're closed during dinner that day. They're night. closed during dinner that day. So, yes. So the picnic will be the only eating option on campus that evening. So that is why this is important. Does anyone? Oh, yes, sorry. Do you have excuse absences for the Thursday, September 12th? So students want to go to the Notre Dame forum because it's at 11 a.m. No, I'm going to just direct that question. Uh, okay. I do not believe they're providing excuse absences okay. for it. It is, they're like different speakers at different hours. And so the idea is come for what you can, okay. right? Like and go to classes you can. So it'll be the opportunity to kind of come and go through portions of it throughout that day. Any other questions, especially about? September 11th. All right, great. Um, that's it for executive announcements. Um, we'll now move into general orders. Okay. There's um, nothing in general orders right now, but if anyone wants to move anything up, this is, yes, out there. I seek unanimous consent to move all three items up to general orders, out of new business and into general orders. Um, are there any Objections to the unanimous consent to move all items A, B, and C out of new business and into general orders. All right, seeing that there are none, all three items are moved up. <coughs> Thank you, Thomas. Yeah. All right, so first we will hear SO 2425-12 um, in order to amend the legislative formatting code. Yes. Oh. Uh, there's a motion on the floor to dispense with the reading. All those in favor? All opposed? All abstain? All right, it passes. The reading is dispensed with. We are now in questioning. Anyone have any questions for Alexander or Hunter? Yes. What was the, for Alexander, what was the like prompting which made you feel like you needed to like put this forward? All right. You'll notice um, on this particular bill, we, it looks really weird. The title is not centered and the names are on the opposite side from where they usually are. The reason is because our legislative formatting code has a few oversights in its wording that result in this being how it is supposed to look according to the code. And while you and I, well, everyone here knows that that's not actually the case, if future senators were to come in and not know how to write legislation, then they would have to look to the formatting code and they'd see these rules. So all we're doing is just adjusting the code in order to make it act what we actually do here in Senate and not this very weird looking format. That's all. Any other questions? Yes. Motion to move out of questioning into debate. Uh, yeah, we will now vote on moving out of questioning and into debate. All those in favor? All opposed? All abstain? All right, we are now in debate. Yes. Uh, motion to move out of debate into a vote. We will now vote on moving out of debate and into a vote. All those in favor? All opposed? All abstain? 
All right, we will now vote on SO 2425-12 in order to amend the legislative formatting code. All those in favor? All opposed? All abstain? It passes. Congratulations. Thank you for noticing that oversight and correcting it. We will now move on to um, the nomination for Vice President of Operations. All right. Um, there's no move to dispense with the reading. We will, oh, yes. Uh, motion to dispense with the reading. We will now vote on dispensing with the reading. All those in favor? All opposed? All abstain? Um, it passes. So the reading is dispensed with. And Madison is here, right over there. As many of you know, she was the Baden senator. And now she's nominated for this. So we are now questioning. Any questions? Yes, Alexander. Motion to move out of questioning and into debate. Yeah, we will now vote on moving out of questioning and into debate. All those in favor? All opposed? All abstain? All right, we are now in debate. Madison. Thank you. Are there any points of debate? Yes, Hunter. I would be remiss if I did not share that I've worked with Madison for a year now, and I think she'll do a great job in this role. She uh, resigned her Senate position to do it, so very committed, clearly. Great. Yes. I worked with Madison and two other clubs as well. Everything she gets herself involved in, she puts all of her energy and all of her passion into it, and I'm sure she'll do the same. Yes. Motion to move out of debate and into a vote. Okay, we will now vote on moving out to be and into a vote. All those in favor? All opposed? All abstain? We will now vote on the nomination of Vice President of Operations. All those in favor? All opposed? All abstain? All right, it passes. Let's all greet Madison with a warm round of applause. Congratulations, Madison. All right, we'll move on to the second nomination for student union historian. Um, a similar thing if the reading is not dispensed with, we can read it. Yes, Aaliyah? A motion to dispense with the reading. Okay. We'll now vote on dispensing with the reading. All those in favor? All opposed? All abstain? All right, the reading is dispensed with. We are now in questioning, and I believe Elijah is here. Hi, good to see you. Yes, Alexander. Any historians you admire? <laughs> well, I watch them including in blogging for the history of the world. Mm -hmm. cool. mm -hmm. <laughs> Any other questions? Um, yes, we move out of questioning into debate. Second. We'll now vote on moving out of questioning and into debate. All those in favor? All opposed? All abstain? We are now in debate. Elijah, do you want to Thank you. Are there any points of debate? Yes, Hunter. As you all know, this is a new role, uh, and I have every confidence in Elijah's ability to pull together and to form a very strong uh, historical thread for the student union. Even though I have not worked with him for a year, I am very certain he will handle this with grace. Yes, Leah. I have worked with Elijah for a year on class council, and I will say he's probably one of the most committed people we have on class council. Um, he's very, I feel like he's just very true to himself, but he also just does everything with the utmost respect. And I think he's just such an amazing human being, and he definitely deserves this role. Any other points of debate? Yes. We will now vote on moving out of debate and into a vote. All those in favor? All opposed? All abstain? All right, we will now vote on the nomination for the Student Union Historian. All those in favor? All opposed? All abstain? It passes. Congratulations, Elijah. All right, we moved everything out of new business. Um, so now we're in announcements. Anyone have anything? Yes, Leah. 
Class of 2027 kickoff on Library Lawn this Sunday. Be there or be square. It's from three to five. Just a great way to see everybody after a long summer. Yes, Hunter. First year class council elections will be starting soon. As a reminder, if you are in this room, you probably cannot endorse anyone. So please do not endorse anyone. Okay. Yes. Tomorrow is also South Bend Cubs. Um, so if you buy a ticket through sub, the buses start at six. Um, they're running every 15 to 20 minutes. Do not rely on taking the last bus possible um, as the bus only fit 38 people and you will get left behind. Um, buses will start running like halfway to the ninth inning. If they're not there when they're gone, sorry. Um, <laughs> just playing better. And then on Friday, um, there will also be a acoustic cafe before flick on the field. Um, should be super fun, first one of the year. And that's it for sub. Awesome. Any other announcements? All right, we just need a motion to adjourn. Yes. Motion to adjourn. Okay. All right, we'll now vote on adjourning. All those in favor? All opposed? All abstain? All right, great. I'll see you guys here next week. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to email Hunter or myself. Okay, go. I don't know. Give me comments. Say that. Or comments for myself. Uh, <laughs>